Hey guys, my name is Ben Tecavere and it's 5.15 in the morning here in Pasadena and as you can see it's really dark outside and I'm just about to go to the gym and actually this camera is freaking heavy so I'm probably gonna start with a shoulder pump already so yeah, this video is a day in the life of a college student Enjoy! So this was an amazing workout and I'm just gonna head back to my room, take a shower and then I'll show you what I eat for breakfast every single day. Also the sun just came up so just, yeah, just beautiful. So I just came back to this mess that I call my room. By the way, this is Bechtel house and this is the first floor. And yeah, so as I said, I'm just gonna take a shower and then show you my breakfast. So it is 7.30 in the morning and I'm currently having my breakfast at my usual breakfast location. Brood Cafe, which is on campus and it's about like a hundred meters away from my room, from like where I live. 
and the service is really nice there's literally no queue in the morning i'm literally first customer and basically the only customer in the morning um what i always have is a fruit cup a regular medium latte and this uh salmon toast with two poached eggs which is really just the highlight of my day um and yeah so this might look like a bit fancy or whatever but I mean Caltech makes us pay 2.5k each term just for the food so I mean this is I guess the bare minimum um, so yeah anyways uh, I'm just gonna dig in and I'll see you after So it's about 8 a.m. now, which means I still have one hour until my lectures start. So I'm just gonna spend that one hour working a little bit and also just reading, preparing for the lectures, understanding the material and stuff. And I'm also gonna have to do my weekly COVID test. We actually have to do two tests every week. Um, this means all the students, faculty, everyone on campus. And it just basically like you spit into this little cup and then you just like put that into this little tube and then you just submit this in a post box. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that and then go to lectures and I'll see you. <sighs> Done. So I just had my first lecture of the day and it was um, moderately interesting. It was on bacterial endospores, which are basically a bacterial cell type that can last for like hundreds or thousands of years and are like resistant to like basically any kind of like extreme environmental conditions like temperature and radiation and so on. So that was like quite cool. And I'm just gonna be tanning until my next lecture, which is in 50 minutes. And that is gonna be biochemistry. And so yeah, until then I'm just gonna be tanning. And it is crazy that it's the 29th of November and here in Pasadena, it's still 27 degrees Celsius. So basically it's like summertime still. So you can just like tan like any day. Uh, and so I feel like it's just really good for me. It really just helps to elevate my mood and just like basically stimulate me for the rest of the day. Uh, I feel like getting enough sunlight is really important. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna be here tanning for like 40 minutes. Yes. I'm gonna call my family. I haven't called them for like a few days now because they've been traveling and stuff. So it's gonna be good to catch up with them. And then, yeah, and then I'm just gonna go to my next lecture, which is gonna be biochemistry. And that's gonna be on amino acid metabolism, which is just a pretty cool topic. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that too. So I guess I'll see you then. Reggel még, még tanultam, meg, meg, még reggeliztem, meg, 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 meg megittam a kávémat, meg mit tudom én. So I just had my biochemistry lecture. Um, it was on amino acid metabolism, so basically amino acids are the building blocks of proteins and this lecture was on how proteins are broken down into these amino acid components, how proteins are recycled, how these amino acids can be converted to different amino acids and then how can these like uh, be put into different pathways in the cell and so on. So that was quite fascinating and it's also kind of interesting to me because um, this balance between protein degradation and protein synthesis is really important in aging and aging is a field that I'm interested in. 
So yeah, it was just like quite interesting. And then we're also gonna have like a second part to this lecture on Wednesday. Um, but now I'm gonna have lunch. I brought lunch and hopefully I'm gonna degrade that protein in the lunch and uh, use that for my own cells. So yeah, and then now I have like an hour long break and I'm gonna have a three hour class after this, which is gonna be insanely long. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly show you my lunch. And my lunch is rice, vegetables, chicken, and there's also something interesting here, which I'm not really sure about, like what this is, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna eat this and I'm also gonna work and then, yeah, I'm gonna go to lecture. And also one more thing, like this is just really annoying how like everything is cheap plastic at Caltech. They say it is because of the pandemic. You pay like 2.5K per term just for the food to get like this kind of stuff. I don't know. It's a bit shit. I just finished lunch. It was all right, I guess. Um, the plastic fork actually broke, so I almost choked on it, which is really not okay. It's not only wasteful to use this shit, but it's also dangerous. Um, yeah, and then I just found this like somewhere, so I just used this instead to finish the meal. But anyways, um, now I'm just gonna work for like another half an hour, and I'm gonna go to the lecture where we're also gonna have group work to like complete a homework and then submit and whatever. So I just came back from my three hours long class, out of which an hour and a half was the actual lecture and, and then another hour and a half was the group work. And so in the group work, basically me and my teammate, we did analysis, uh, like coding, uh, separately. And then basically we spent the whole time trying to understand why our results are like entirely different like what I got was an order of magnitude different than what he got. So basically in the end we got like nowhere. So I'm gonna have to like spend some time later to like figure out like which version to submit. Um, but yeah, either way, um, it was a really long three hours and I'm kind of tired now and my brain doesn't really work anymore. And I have a confession to make because I was lying previously in this video because I said my breakfast is the highlight of my day, which is actually not true because the highlight of my day is what's going to come now, which is calling my girlfriend and we're going to watch Netflix together and just talk about our days and whatever. So that's going to be really fun. And after three hours, I'm actually going to have to go to my final lecture at 7 p.m. So yeah, we still have a lot of things ahead of us today. So yeah, but now let's just call my girlfriend. one episode of Bojack Horseman and then we just talked for like three hours um, casually you know like every day and then she had to go to sleep because there's an eight hour time difference between um, California and London so then I was barely able to make it to my lecture I was actually two minutes late but that's fine and I actually didn't have any time to get dinner so 
what I'm gonna do now is because I'm really hungry, I'm just gonna go to Red Door Cafe, which is the only open place currently on campus at this time that is still serving food, which is, you know, like, it's kind of weird about the US, I feel like, because in Europe, like, a lot of people have dinner at, like, 8 or 9 p.m., but here you're kind of meant to have your dinner at, like, 6, so the fact that I didn't make it there before 7 means that basically all the places are closed, but anyway, so now I can only go to Red Door Cafe. I'm just gonna have a sandwich, a salad, and then that's hopefully gonna be ideal to fuel me through this work session that I'm gonna have to do and submit my problem set that I have to finish by midnight. So I'm probably gonna be working until midnight and then go to bed and do the same thing tomorrow. So I just came back from Red Door, of course I dropped my drink, so basically half of it landed on the ground, but that's completely fine. This is my dinner, so it's turkey bacon avocado sandwich, this is what I always get, and it's a salmon avocado salad on the side, and yeah, it's just pretty sick. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this, and this is just iced matcha, and yeah, hopefully for the next three hours this is gonna keep me awake and yeah and this is just some chili sauce make sure you put chili sauce on everything that's gonna get you into kata and so as i said i have a problem set to finish so i'm just gonna work for the next like two or three hours until around midnight and then i'm just gonna uh, go to bed and sleep because tomorrow this whole thing just starts again and we have a lot of things to do because this is the last week of teaching and next week is finals week so um we just gotta submit a bunch of problem sets now and next week we just gotta do a bunch of exams and then i gotta get ready because my flight is next saturday and i'm gonna go back to london so yeah everything is real busy um i actually like that but now i'm gonna have to work so yeah So I ended up procrastinating for about like an hour and a half, but then eventually I managed to get my problem set finished and I submitted it right on time. And now it's four minutes past midnight, so I'm just gonna go take a quick shower and then I'm gonna go to bed and sleep. And I'm probably only gonna have like six hours of sleep, which is definitely not gonna be enough, but yeah, I guess it's better than nothing. So. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. And I also have two other videos already. One is um, like settling into Caltech and the other is how I ranked number one at university last year. So, so go check those out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, this was it for today. So I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.